What's up Throttle Fam and welcome to Throttle Tube and in this video we're going to go over some common mistakes that riders make from beginner level all the way through to so-called competent riders. <coughs> Outtakes. Yeesh! <coughs> Dying. I might keep that in you know. Numero uno or however the hell it's said in Spanish, I don't know. But number one is parking your bike in neutral. Parking your bike in neutral is a bad idea because you're relying solely on your kickstand to keep the bike in place. Add in some wind and incline or a touchy bystander and you're asking to come back to be a meme to find your bike taking a nap on the concrete. So let's slow that down a little bit. As you can see, I'm sitting here in neutral and the bike can roll freely around. The factors I mentioned earlier can take place and you can have a bad day. So simply just kick it down into first. The bike can't roll anywhere. Kick the kickstand down, knowing your bike's safe and you can sleep peacefully at night. We've all seen this one before. Someone stopped at a red light or on a hill holding themselves still with their front brake and not their back. What I mean is if you have your right foot down and your left foot on the peg, it means you're not covering your rear brake, which means the only way to hold yourself still is by using the front. So when you try to pull away on an incline per se, you're going to be trying to give throttle input and release the brake at the same time, which ultimately ends in a twitchy experience, which can end up dangerous. So instead of that, put your left foot down and put your right foot on the brake. That way you can hold yourself still without moving to free up your right hand to only worry about smooth throttle input. I was just thinking, imagine doing like a hill start where you hold yourself in your front brake and try and pull away smoothly for your first time on a thousand cc. <sighs> How many times have you gone down the road and seen someone with an orange chain that looks like it hasn't been lubed since 1995? I'm talking to you, Mr. Orange Chain. Actually, while we're here, on a serious note guys, if you'd like me to do more in-depth videos on motorcycle maintenance like your chain, adjustment, brake, coolant, fluids, pads, whatever, I'll more than happily do so. Just let me know in the comments and I'll happily cover that if that means it can potentially save someone's life out on the road. Now, Mr. Orange Chain, I'm not talking about when you take Fridays off work to close the curtains and watch your favourite movie when I say lubricant. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm talking chain lube, and plenty of it at that. Unless you have something that's belt-driven, then still get some chain lube because there's a game you can play when you spray it on the kitchen floor and see so you can slide the furthest. What? Anyway, be sure to check your maintenance logbook to see your periodic changes and things like that on your motorcycle. And if you don't have one of these or if you bought a secondhand motorcycle, there's plenty of websites out there where you can download a PDF version for free. I recommend you definitely have one of these at hand because the last thing you want to do is have a bike that needs its valves changed and they haven't been done in the next minute. So there you have it. That's a couple of my points that I see people doing from beginner to intermediate rider. Hopefully you don't make these mistakes. And if you do, you learn something here. And if this happens to help somebody out or you can pass this on to somebody you know who makes these mistakes, definitely do so because if it saves someone's life, it's definitely worth me making the video. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I shall see you guys in the next video.